This calibration test got me from this during my first week to this. Hey everyone, it's Andrew from Habes' Hobbies and today we're looking at the calibration test that saved my life, the cones of calibration. <laughs> Got to mention it's from tabletop foundry now i tried the validation matrix i've tried amera labs toon print and i thought they were like they were pretty cool like the validation matrix was my first print and it looked pretty successful but what i found was once you start getting close to where you need to be i found it quite subjective and tricky to work out do i need to go up do i need to go down is this slit open is the, are these pillars sturdy enough and so i found the cones of calibration and it was a very kind of just like it's this or that like wrong or right one of the things i want to highlight before we actually look at the cones of calibration is to just say like it's a very good beginner friendly calibration tool if you want to like really find fine tune your resin setting. I've only got a 2K printer, but like with the high detail printers, yeah, maybe you want to fine tune and really dial in your settings, then a more complicated test might be appropriate because you can look at things like resin viscosity and things like that. Whereas this is just, do you want to get your exposure settings right? So you print sprint. The cones of calibration, it's a simple file. It's just got, you just need to upload it in your slicer and that's it. You don't, you can't do any other test prints with it. I'm assuming other objects printing at the same time will affect the results. Well, at least that's what they said. They said, don't load up any other objects. But it comes with a PDF when you download it. It's pretty easy. You've got a success side and you've got a fail side. And so you want the success cones to print and you want the fail cones to misprint or not print at all. Once you get that happening on both sides, you're like, you've got it. You've got the, the right, the perfect exposure. As you're testing it out, if you don't have enough success cones printing on the success side, it means you need to turn the exposure up. And if you have failure cones printing on the fail side, you need to turn your exposure down and it's finding that balance and you just keep yeah, bringing your exposure closer and eventually you meet somewhere in the middle. So I got this new resin from Vox Lab, ABS like gray. They didn't sponsor me. I don't think anyone's gonna sponsor me at this point and that's cool. And with the new resin, you need to you know, recalibrate it. But I just thought, you know what? I'd go through the process of using the cones just to yeah, show it off in a video. And so I started with 2.5 seconds and I think this is a pretty much a standard. Fail side was great, no fail cones. So obviously that meant the exposure wasn't too high. But on the success side, I only had like two, two and a half cones print. So like I knew I needed to turn it up. And then I thought, you know what? I'll go to the other extreme and go four seconds. And that fail cones, I had two fail cones printing. But once you get to a certain exposure, like, like all the success cones print. So I knew that I needed to come down. And then I thought I'd try the old setting, like I said, 3.3 seconds. And that turned out pretty good. There was just a few four and a half cones printing on the success side. And then I tried um, 3.2, 3.1 and three. And the upside with like calibration tests is they don't use much resin or at least this one doesn't. So it's like, it's worth like spending the time. Like it only took 40 sec oh, 40 seconds, I wish. 40 minutes to print, like it was pretty quick. And so I printed out these, three seconds was too short, but 3.1 and 3.2, it was very similar. Like one was missing a fail cone and one was missing a success cone. And it's like, probably means the ideal exposure is probably like 3.15 or somewhere in between the two. And so I just went for 3.2 because I'd rather overexpose than underexpose. And so once I got that, you know, you have to test it out. It comes with like calibration complaint. So I printed off some arms that misprinted on some orc knobs in Mega Armor from Puppets War. And then I thought I'd print this like Tyranid Digger unit. And that turned out pretty well with the settings that I had. There was a misprint where one of kind of the, a chunk of its shell kind of just misprinted. Part of me thinks that wasn't an exposure setting, but that was more because the model's hollow and there might've just been some overhang or something that just didn't have enough support. I've tried my best to use green stuff. Um, but once like you put, I don't know, some paint on it and stuff, I don't think anyone's gonna notice it unless I point it out to them. Let me know what you think of the cones of calibration, if you used it before or not, or if you have like a better simple test